Does grinding fresh for espresso really matter? Well, here's a scenario. You're in a cafe and you order an espresso. It's delicious. So you say, hey barista, grab me up some of those magical beans so I can pull some shots on my machine at home. Hey espresso lovers, Mark here from wholelattelove.com. In this video, I'll show you how that scenario might play out. It's a real demonstration of just how much of a difference grinding for espresso right before pulling your shots can make. You'll get to see shots pulled in sync and side by side using the same coffee ground fresh right before brewing and that very same coffee that was ground two days ago. Now, I got to thinking about this after reading comments and a video I did last week which compared the same coffee ground fresh and pulled in a standard non-pressurized basket and a pressurized basket. Now, if you missed that one, use the link up here to watch it. For this comparison, I'll once again be using the Gaja Classic, which is my favorite for best value entry level machine, and the Gaja MDF grinder. The MDF is a solid low cost grinder that pairs well with the Classic. The coffee I'll be using is Maromas Orfea. It's an Italian style blend that's chocolatey without bitterness, easy to work with, produces lots of crema, is well reviewed, and sells for around $10 a pound. So here's what I did. Two days ago, I ground up some Orfea on the MDF, sealed it up, and set it aside. I used the same grind setting that was producing beautiful and tasty double shots at the time. Fast forward to today, and I'll use that pre-ground and brew it two ways, and you'll see those extractions in sync with the same coffee from the same bag that's ground fresh right before the extraction. To set the scene, our pitcher on the left will get the fresh ground, in the middle we'll be doing the two-day-old grinds in a standard basket, and on the right the two-day-old grinds in a pressurized basket. Now I'm including the pressurized basket as that's how many will brew when using a pre-ground coffee. Now I shot these earlier and I'll freeze playback a couple of times so I can point out what's going on. Okay, let's roll the video. So off the bat, all the drips start at the same time. Now let's freeze. What I notice on the left, the fresh ground streams are thicker, really bubbling with a rich crema. Rolling again on the right, the pressurized basket is already starting to thin out. Okay, let's stop here. At 10 seconds in on the right, crema bubbles in the pressurized basket are larger. Now that's typical of that type of basket, which fakes the crema to some extent by pushing all the coffee through one tiny little hole, which causes it to form those bubbles. In the middle, the standard basket with two-day-old grinds is starting to develop a blonder layer of crema on top, while the fresh ground on the left is uniform in color. Rolling again, the fresh ground is nearly all uniform in crema. In the middle, stratification is very evident, and the pressurized basket has less crema and a layer of larger bubbles taking over the top of the shot at 16 seconds. At about 20 seconds, our shots are looking very different, but coming at the same speed. Now, one note, I had to reduce the dose in the middle shot to 15 grams. I tried it with 17 and a half like the others a few times and was getting very close to choking the machine. Not sure why, but guessing the pre-ground may have dried out some and tamped tighter. Continuing on to the end at 26 to 27 seconds, the shots clearly have very different looks. On the left, the fresh ground is at least 80% solid crema. In the middle, the crema is quickly subsiding with a very blonde top. On the right, the pressurized shot has a darker airier top layer of the faked crema. But underneath, it's blonder and subsiding faster than the other shots. So, the shots look very different, but how did they taste? While I tell you about that, let me take you to what the shots looked like at about two minutes from extraction. All ended with similar volumes. Taste-wise, the fresh ground was wonderful, chocolatey, balanced, and had a rich mouthfeel. The middle shot was predictably thinner and the flavor was off, missing the boldness of the fresh ground. The shot on the right from the pre-ground, well, it really just wasn't very good at all. Thin, bland, watery, disappointing, and frankly, undrinkable compared to the fresh ground. So, the takeaway from this, a fresh grind makes a huge difference. If you run into a coffee you really like at a cafe, don't bother having them grind it for you and making it at home. You will likely be disappointed. Only buy the whole beans and grind them fresh yourself and do that right before making your espresso. 
I'm Mark from wholelottheylove.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll come back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by wholelottheylove.com.